Hello, welcome to my style clip tutorial of how to run it on Colab. And to make it more comprehensive, uh, the original Colab don't provide the E4E uh, implementation. So I wrote another copy of um, style clip that has E4E, but only limit to um, human faces, basically the FFHQ data set which is celebrity faces, anything related to that. So if you want to run on animals or church, you may have to, I wouldn't want to say that, but you probably have to figure it out on your own or just change a few line of codes if you know what I'm doing on my um, collab. So I've been switching between um, two GitHub's actually right here. And this is the official one and I won't be linking this one down in the description just because I think it will create confusion. So I'll just be linking this one that I wrote um, specifically that it's not really I wrote it's a fork of the cop it's basically a copy of the original one and then I just act added this extra line to link my um, collab so this is also used for my um, GUI version of style clip tutorial and if you want to run it locally and use the GUI like as seen here I'll link that video of how to install the GUI in the description too so this video will just be teaching you how to run the collab that I wrote basically, and you can only run on faces. All right, so you just wanna click on this and it will take you to the collab. And the first thing you'll be greeted with is codes. So let's reorganize this a bit since um, I cannot organize the layout that much for you. So you want to press on these files and then you want to open this tab and then you want to collapse um, this chunk of code by pressing here. And then you can collapse another one chunk of code by pressing this one. We want to collapse this one and this one, but not this one. We want to keep keep this open. And then here, here's another um, part you can collapse and here's another part you can collapse. And we want to leave this one here open and this one here open. So, oh my God, that's horrifying. And the very first thing you want to do is just to run this button and then you have to press run anyways. All right, after this first one have uh, finished, okay, took around like six minutes or seven. You only need to run this once though, because this is the setup step. And after this has finished, uh, you want to drag and drop your image that you want to um, test on into this folder, which is called encoder for editing. And then just press okay here. And then you want to make sure the image name is the right one with the image that you dr just drag and dropped in. So it's elon.jpg and then to change this. And after you finish that step, um, you just have to press this one, press this one, press this one. Oh wait, so if you if you encounter this um, error here, a um, pickling error, so all you have to do is to go back to here, open this chunk of codes, um, scroll down and press this one, the second one. And then make sure it downloads the file correctly here. You want to make sure it downloads this file correctly because it, it was corrupted and it was probably only like 1kb downloaded. So you need to make sure that 1.12 GB are, uh, are all downloaded and then the files should show on like this here. And that's if you encounter that problem and you can collapse this tab again. So now we can press this button, press this button, press this button, press this button. And then we can just basically wait out all right, after all those are done, now you can finally have some fun. Neutral would have to be like describe the original image or just a neutral text. So you can just put face or face with hair. So I'll just do face with hair. And then target is the target change that you want to do. So it's just the description of what you want to edit. And it, usually I suggest it should be something um, similar to how the neutral text is. So face with hair. And then if you want to edit the color, hair color, you just blue hair or actually um, white hair because it's more obvious. And then you just press this and then here the cell, it will run after you finish running. You can just cue this one here. All right, so let's talk about beta and alpha. So beta, you can see the number of channels being manipulated and you can see that they suggest 10 to 20 channels and you can restrict um, the amount of channels that are open by adjusting the beta. Now it's on the very left. So we need to like go to like write more. So you can see that it's 55 now and then write more 16. And this should be the normal range, right? Like a recommended range. But if you go too much where there are zero channels, it will um, basically produce a black image, which I don't know why there's still one. Let's, 
I'm trying to get it to do the zero. So when you encounter like something, oh wow, it didn't work. So when you get zero channels, this one, this manipulated section will just be all black. So you have to find available channels that will perform edits. Higher your restriction, the less change there will be. And so you can see that with the same strength. And this is the change. And if we move the channels to like low restriction to like 450, the changes will be a lot. See, you can see that white hair. And then there's kind of like a makeup now and lighter skin. So an older skin, that's because we have more channels that's corresponding responding to white hair and then since a lot of white haired people are older older people so you get more wrinkles so you, if you just want to edit like oh the hair like more precisely you just want to keep the beta low like between 25 20 or 20 to 10 so you can see this is really similar and you don't get those wrinkles so that's basically how the beta channel works and the alpha is basically the strength so you can see that it goes from negative 10 to positive 10 zero is basically no change and if you're in the positive area is changing towards what you described what you made as in target so face with white hair that would be the target so if you move towards more positive strength it will be more white so if i make it to 10 it'll be basically very white but if you go towards the negative that's basically doing the opposite of what you ask it to do so if you if you pull it back to negative 9.5 it would just become black so yeah that's how you use the beta and alpha channels and you can basically just do whatever you want so now i'll go through how to run another image so like okay after you finish running this one you probably am bored and you want to try something else um so all you have to do is to drag another image into the encoder for editing here and then you have to make sure the file name is the same one so i just dra dragged um elon1.jpg so you have to type one here and then that will be your input image you can press this one press this one this we don't need to run the setups again because we, we already finished setting up and then you can queue the next one too and then after these two finish running we just need to set up this input text description however you like or if you want to use it so i'll just demonstrate it again to show you how it works all right those two finished the running so let's try something else this time um face and then target should be face with tattoos let's see what happened so we want to run the cell with your text description and then we can run here and you can see 15 channels being manipulated and then since our strength value is like very very neutral like very middle you can't really see any change so remember to turn up the strength so you can see the changes and there is no changes that's probably because there's not much labeled data about tattoos in the original data set so so there's not much thing you can expect so let's just uh run piercings real quick piercings or actually just just go makeup but <laughs> it's probably horrifying so run the cell run this and then you can five channels okay oh my god yes that that's that is horrifying and then then you want to lower the strength when you see some something like that and yeah that's basically it that's how you use this collab and if you want to run other data sets like the church or the animal ones you can manually go through these codes and edit the data sets yourself since I'll, i restricted and simplified quite a lot of codes here so yeah Good luck with that. And then you can join, join my Discord channel if you have any questions. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, you can consider supporting me through my Patreon. I'll link that down in the description. And follow my Twitter for my latest update. And thank you for watching.